Hey guys, so today we're going to do a comparison between the Wallace Audio ACS1 and the Strymon Iridion. Now, when the ACS1 came out, I think it raised a lot of eyebrows because it seems to be a direct copy of the Iridium, but putting my hands on it, I think it's an improvement and I'll go through it and I want you to form your own opinion about it, but I really like it. Of course, it's doing the same 3 amp style. Uh, the IRs are a little bit different as far as how they're put out. Uh, but there's a lot of cool things about it. Let's uh, get into how they sound. So what I'm doing is this is a preset I've made that I've liked and I'm sticking with on the ACS1. It has the AC30 and it's using their IR, which I'll put up on the screen which one I'm using. In the Rhydium, I used this same exact settings for probably about two months. Again, the AC30 and it's a David Hislop IR. Now I've also got a David Hislop IR in here and I'll actually do a compare, comparison between the two later on in the video. So let's just see what this sounds like. Uh, I'm going through nothing but my Bloom compressor and the ACS1 and I'm using my TMG Gatton with uh, Lindy Fralin Modern PAF Humbucker Pickups. I am on the bridge. <laughs> Now on both of them, they are edge of breakup like tones. Uh, I like that because I feel like I get more bloom out of the notes instead of uh, kind of flat sounding. Uh, so I'm gonna dig in and you'll hear how that happens. <laughs> One of the things I noticed immediately with the ACS one is there's just more clarity in the mids. The mids are completely different to me in the ACS one versus the Iridium, and I think they're improved. One of the biggest issues I had with the Iridium, as much as I love it, it's a great pedal. It really is, and I think it works well for many users. The low mids, somewhere in the mids, just they, the reaction is a little weird for me. And as I go on, I'll try to show that to you so you can kind of make your own uh, opinion. But I feel like the ACS1 just has clearer mids. And for some people that might be, they might not be warm enough, but for me, they're right where I like to have them. So let's, uh, let's turn on some effects and I'm kind of just bringing you guys along with the ride of me figuring out which one of these two I want to keep and which one I want to sell. So let's turn everything on. I've got a hall reverb on, it's not too huge. And a little bit of delay. I'm going to turn second stage overdrive on. by the first stage. Add overdrive to that. Uh... 
Yeah, listen to that right there, how it breaks up. It almost seems like it's getting digital. And a lot of that sometimes, I think it's fighting the reverb. It's slightly better without the reverb, but another thing I've noticed between the two, the ACS-1 seems to be more okay with the reverb. Uh, this is the last in chain. I use the amps last in chain currently. So I have the reverbs going into the amps and the ACS-1 seems to take reverb better. I'm gonna turn a heavier reverb on real quick and let's see how that is. <laughs> There's something about those low mids that are just clashing a little bit. The Iridium seems to take overdrive a little bit better than the ACS-1. Uh, it seems like you have to convince the ACS-1 to break up a little bit more. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's just an adjustment thing. I do know and I believe the Iridium just takes volume better overall. It has more headroom in it. In fact, you can turn it up way, la way louder. One of the things about the ACS-1 is if you want to put an overdrive or a boost in front of it, you're going to have to turn the volume down under 50%. Uh, there's something about it, and I've talked to Wallerus about it, when you turn it over 50%, it clamps up and it starts to compress your signal more, whereas the Iridium doesn't do that. It actually takes volume very, very well. Uh, let's, uh, let's grunge it up. I'm going to turn the Benson preamp on. This is my third stage overdrive and uh, maybe way less reverb. And let's play something fun. <laughs> I think both of them sound really good. Again, it kind of just boils down to a few things for me. One of the things about the ACS-1 is it's got this boost right here that's really cool. Uh, I'm not going to use it on third stage. That would be ridiculous. But And it has three presets that you can use. Uh, and you probably already know this by now, but you can use a one amp and IR on the left when you're running stereo and a different amp and IR on the right, which is really cool. With the Iridium, you can only do two different IRs left and right. We have to use the same amp, which for some people, that's fine. 
Uh, it's also, you know, you have to have a TRS cable to run stereo, whereas this you don't. You have two inputs right here and two outputs right here. So it's really great. The footprint on this is smaller. I kind of like this design a little bit better. Um, so functionability and stuff like that, uh, everything for me kind of just leans towards this. Not that there's anything wrong with this. I, I'm just gravitating towards this because I love how easy it is to set a preset up and how clear everything is. Whereas the Iridium, I actually sold my first one because it was kind of hard to dial in. Some of you could say that's user error, that's completely fine. Some of you might like this one better in this video, and that's fine, let me know if you do. But for me, I like this ACS-1. Let's, uh, I'm gonna play something with that boost so I can show you just how effective it is. So if you're looking for a boost at the end of your chain, that thing is great. Such a great transparent boost. Uh, so overall, man, I really like both of these products. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the ACS-1 and sell the Iridium. Again, nothing wrong with Iridium. Uh, I think it's a great product. Um, last thing, uh, I almost forgot. All right, so I got this patch right here that has the same IR that's loaded into here currently, which is the David Hislop. I'll put which one it is up on the screen. So let's just do a shootout uh, that's kind of like side by side. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Let me know what you think, which one you thought sounded better, and let me know if the ACS-1 might be right for you and you sh if you should get it. I think you should. I think it's a really cool product, and I think it'll only get better because they're probably going to do be doing some updates with it. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. I'll see you on the next one.